Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are here with a first impression and wear test of the new Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored, which is currently the only color that they have out. What I'm gonna do is open this for the first time, check out the packaging, do a swatch, apply it to my lips, and then I will take you around with me the rest of the day, vlog style, so you can see how it wears throughout the day, how it is when I eat, does it crumple, does it wear off, does it smear, does it transfer, all of that shit. To be festive and celebrate and like be, you know, like appropriate for the brand, I wore my Fenty Beauty foundation today and I have the Fenty highlight on in Fire Crystal and in the inner corner, I have Trophy Wife, so I'm all fenty out. So without further ado, let's get into this because I haven't even opened it yet and I'm excited. Okay, here is the packaging on the outside, the Unicarton up close and personal. It has the shade and like a swatch of the shade on the top, which I like because if you buy a couple of them, then you kind of know which one you're opening. From what I saw of the other people using them and unboxing them, the packaging looks pretty dope and the applicator looks very interesting and fun. So I am very pumped for this. That is what the actual inner packaging looks like. I'm not gonna lie, this is cool as fuck. This reminds me of like kind of almost like the Louboutin liquid lipsticks, except it's like not $80, it's a normal price. And it's like heavy too, like it feels very, very high quality and like substantial, if you will. That is what the applicator looks like. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Um, I'm gonna just swatch it on the back of my hand here first so we can see that. The red is gorgeous. It's a very, very true red, I would say, maybe leaning a little bit blue. And uh, the formula seems very light on my hand. It also seems like it's super pigmented because that was like one swipe. I just kind of went over the edge to make it even. And that's what went down from one swipe. So that's really good news to start with. Looks like it's gonna be a lovely formula, at least coverage wise. Now, let's put it on my lips. Dude, that applicator is actually bomb. That rides the line of your lips so easily and made that so easy to apply. Shh, the fuck? Why didn't anybody think of this sooner? This is cool. Okay, first impression so far, uh, the color is pretty much like that perfect red. Like that's like the true, classic red. I'm very, very impressed that this was the first shade she came out with because it really does like, it's something that everybody can wear. It's something that most people want in their collection. So like when something's super duper high quality and classic, I think that's a great place to start for your brand. That applicator is the shit. Like it was so easy to just like swipe it along the line of my lip and get a perfect line. It's super pigmented and so far it feels very light on the lips. Um, Definitely not like almost like nothing there, but it feels like a very, very light lipstick. Um, I don't feel like it's gonna be uncomfortable at all throughout the day. I'm gonna bring it with me in case I need to touch up, but I'm going to try not to touch it up for as long as humanly possible. So that way we get like, you know, a true wear test out of it. So um, I just have to go run some errands today. Probably stop for a coffee along the way. So we'll get the coffee sip test going on. Um, Check that swatch on the back of my hand. Honestly, that's so opaque. It's so opaque. It's really, so far, the color and the formula are absolutely beautiful. Um, it has no scent, by the way. No scent at all. Which is, you know, sometimes that's not a great thing with liquid lipsticks because then you smell like liquid lipstick chemicals, but this actually doesn't have any chemical smell. It smells like literally nothing. Oh, let's check if it transfers because it's probably completely dried down by now. Um tiny, tiny, tiny bit of transfer, but it's only been off for like five minutes, so that might dry down further as we wear it throughout the day. So I'm gonna go about my day, uh, bring you guys with me vlog style. We're gonna check in a few times and we will come back and discuss our final thoughts, but so far, so far I dig. So far I dig it a lot. All right, we're doing the sip test, a little Starbucks. So as you can see, I took, I took a little sippy sip. And uh, there is a little bit of transfer, but it doesn't seem to be moving off my lips, so that's a good sign. 
but uh, it's been off for like an hour now. It's still sitting really nicely. It's like super duper light and I'm enjoying the way it feels. So I don't feel like I got crumbly ass lips or anything like that. How's my lips look so far? Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Heard from the man himself. 348, uh, I put this on about an hour ago. So uh, I'll check in in a few more hours. Maybe around six or something, I don't know. We'll see where the wind takes me today. But um, I'm gonna go, we're going to Trader Joe's right now. Unplanned grocery visit, but we're doing it. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know in a few hours, but so far, very comfortable, and uh, I approve. In Target, still going strong. Even ate a snack, things are going very well. Okay, it's pretty much exactly 8 p.m., which means that this has been on for five hours now. Let's see if you can see on there. 8.01, I believe it is. Uh, not only has this been on for five hours and it's literally perfect, I just ate soup. Soup! Fucking soup? Really? This should survive soup? Like, there's a little on my teeth, I think? Oh, maybe not. It's something else on my teeth. But, um, what? How? How is this happening? And the weird thing is, when I drink out of the cup, it transfers onto the cup a little bit, yet, this. I don't, I don't understand how this is happening. I'm really pretty blown away. I thought that this was gonna be our final check-in for sure, because, how could I have eaten soup and my lipstick's on? But uh, yeah, it's still here. So I'm gonna like ride this bitch into the rocks, if you know what I mean. Like I'm just gonna keep wearing this for as long as I can uh, and see how long it stays nice. Because literally I haven't, I swear to God, I haven't touched it up once. Matt, yeah. have I touched up my lipstick? Not at all. See, witnesses. This shit's crazy. Um, so yeah, so far I'm really impressed. Um, I'll be back in a couple of hours or however long this decides to last further. And I'll let you guys know, but uh, so far, oh my God, oh my God. All right, final check-in. It is nearly 11 p.m. Um, I'm in shitty lighting. I'm moving into the bathroom, stand by, stand by. It's a little better, a little better. 11 p.m., it's smeared a little bit over here. And I like rubbed it over here a little bit, so it looks a little bit of a hot mess, but it's still on, dude. What the fuck? How is this possible? 11 o'clock. Okay, it's 11 p.m. Started at just before three, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight hours. But it's like this weird thing where it transfers, but it's still magically there. Like how the fuck? How? The fuck? I don't understand. How? How is this? How? How? How is this happening? So overall, um, the formula is bomb. I, I've never had a lick of lips that blah, blah, blah. stay on through eating soup. Eating soup! Soup! Soup is like the worst thing. The only thing I could have ate worse than that was salad as far as like putting my lipstick through the ringer. This shit. This shit's good. I have to say, good job, Rihanna. Um, I don't know what kind of wizardry you've got going on behind the scenes there that you can do this, but it's gonna last on my lips for eight hours plus without coming off when I ate soup, but Illuminati confirmed, I suppose. Seriously though, like I'm really, really impressed. Um, I hope they come out with a hundred more fucking colors because I'm going to buy all of them because this is the shit. I am very excited to have this red in my collection because who doesn't need a red that stays on all day without having to worry about it? Uh, yeah, overall, I don't, I don't know what else to say. This is very good. It is excellent, it is very good. I am a fan. Um, oh, as far as the way it feels, um, I feel like my lips feel a little bit dry right now. Like they don't feel terrible though. They've definitely felt way worse with other liquid lipsticks after a few hours, so it's not bad, but you know, they, they could probably use a little chapstick right now, but I'm 100% not worried about it because eight hours and I ate soup. So yeah, that shit's crazy. Um, I'm really impressed. I will definitely be purchasing the rest of the colors of this when they come out. Good job, Riri. You've done it. You've really done it. Your other shit was good, but this is really impressive. And that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming along with this first impression adventure with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. Let me know down below if you have tried this lip paint yet and if so, what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you agree with the things I have assessed throughout the day? Let me know what's up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because that's the best way for us to stay in touch here on YouTube and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that's super helpful and I would super appreciate it and it's just right down there it's just one click so if you could do that that'd be great. Okay thank you thank you so much. Do not forget to follow me on social media. I am at Miss Quinface on pretty much every social platform ever invented ever in the history of anything. That here on the screen it'll be in the description below i'm impossible not to find so come find me come say hi i would appreciate it we get real creative over on instagram so if you like more creative makeup looks that's the place for you that's all for today i hope you found this review first impression wear test helpful uh or entertaining or something i hope you got something out of it and i will see you in the next one